1 Chronicles 24. The divisions of the sons of Aaron were these, the sons of Aaron, Nadab, Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. But Nadab and Abihu died before their father and had no children. So Eleazar and Ithamar became the priests. With the help of Zadok, of the sons of Eleazar, and Ahimelech, of the sons of Ithamar, David organized them according to the appointed duties in their service. Since more chief men were found among the sons of Eleazar than among the sons of Ithamar, they organized them under sixteen heads of fathers' houses of the sons of Eleazar and eight of the sons of Ithamar. They divided them by lot, all alike. For there were sacred officers and officers of God among both the sons of Eleazar and the sons of Ithamar. And the scribe Shemaiah, the son of Nethanel, a Levite, recorded them in the presence of the king and the princes and Zadok the priests and Ahimelech the son of Abiathar and the heads of the fathers' houses of the priests and of the Levites, one father's house being chosen for Eleazar and one chosen for Ithamar. The first lot fell to Jehoiarib, the second to Jediah, the third to Harim, the fourth to Seorim, the fifth to Malchijah, the sixth to Majamim, the seventh to Hakaz, the eighth to Abijah, the ninth to Jeshua, the tenth to Shechaniah, the eleventh to Eliashib, the twelfth to Jakim, the thirteenth to Hupa, the fourteenth to Jeshebiab, the fifteenth to Bilga, the sixteenth to Imer, the seventeenth to Hazir, the eighteenth to Apizes, the nineteenth to Pethaiah, the twentieth to Jehezekel, the twenty-first to Jakin, the twenty-second to Gamal, the twenty-third to Deliah, the twenty-fourth to Maaziah. These had as their appointed duty in their service to come into the house of the Lord according to the procedure established for them by Aaron their father, as the Lord God of Israel had commanded him. And of the rest of the sons of Levi, of the sons of Amram, Shubael, of the sons of Shubael, Jediah, of Rehabiah, of the sons of Rehabiah, Ishiah, the chief, of the Isharites, Shelemoth, of the sons of Shelemoth, Jehath, the sons of Hebron, Jeriah the chief, Amariah the second, Jehaziel the third, Jechameam the fourth, the sons of Uziel, Micah, of the sons of Micah, Shemir, the brother of Micah, Ishiah, of the sons of Ishiah, Zechariah, the sons of Merari, Malai, Mushai, the sons of Josiah, Benno, the sons of Merari, of Josiah, Benno, Shoham, Zakur and Ibrai, of Malai, Eleazar, who had no sons, of Kish, the sons of Kish, Jeramiel, the sons of Mushai, Malai, Adair, and Jeremoth. These were the sons of the Levites according to their father's houses. These also, the head of each father's house, and his younger brother alike, cast lots, just as their brothers, the sons of Aaron, in the presence of King David, Zadok, Ahimelech, and the heads of father's houses of the priests and of the Levites. First Chronicles 25 David and the chiefs of the service also set apart for the service of the sons of Asaph, and of Heman, and of Jeduthun, who prophesied with lyres, with harps, and with cymbals. The list of those who did the work and of their duties was of the sons of Asaph, Zakur, Joseph, Nathaniah, Asherah, the sons of Asaph, under the direction of Asaph, who prophesied under the direction of the king, of Jeduthun, the sons of Jeduthun, Gedaliah, Zerai, Jeshiah, Shimai, Hashabiah, and Mattathiah, six, under the direction of their father Jeduthun, who prophesied with the lyre in thanksgiving and praised the Lord of Heman, the sons of Heman, Ukiah, Madaniah, Uziel, Shebuel, Jeremoth, Ananiah, Hanani, Eliatha, Gidaltai, and Ramamtai Ezer, Josh Bekesha, Malathai, Hathir, Mahaziah. All these were the sons of Heman, the king's seer, according to the promise of God to exalt him. For God had given Heman fourteen sons and three daughters. They were all under the direction of their father in the music in the house of the Lord with cymbals, harps, and lyres, for the service of the house of God. Asaph, Jeduthun, and Heman were under the order of the king. The number of them, along with their brothers, who were trained in singing to the Lord, all who were skillful, was 288. 
and they cast lots for their duties, small and great, teacher and pupil alike. The first lot fell for Asaph to Joseph, the second to Gedaliah to him and his brothers and his sons, twelve, the third to Zakur, his sons and his brothers, twelve, the fourth to Israel, his sons and his brothers, twelve, the fifth to Nathaniah, his sons and his brothers, twelve, the sixth to Bukiah, his sons and his brothers, twelve, the seventh to Jesharalah, his sons and his brothers, twelve, the eighth to Jeshaiah, his sons and his brothers, twelve, the ninth to Mataniah, his sons and his brothers, twelve, the tenth to Shimei, his sons and his brothers, twelve, the eleventh to Azarel, his sons and his brothers, twelve, the twelfth to Hashabiah, his sons and his brothers, twelve, to the thirteenth, Shubael, his sons and his brothers, twelve, to the fourteenth, Mattathiah, his sons and his brothers, twelve, to the fifteenth, to Jeremoth, his sons and his brothers, twelve, to the sixteenth, to Hananiah, his sons and his brothers, twelve, to the seventeenth, to Josh Bekasha, his sons and his brothers, twelve, to the eighteenth, to Hananiah, his sons and his brothers, twelve, to the nineteenth, to Malathi, his sons and his brothers, twelve, to the twentieth, to Eliatha, his sons and his brothers, twelve, to the twenty-first, to Hothir, his sons and his brothers, twelve, to the twenty-second, Gedaltai, his sons and his brothers, twelve, to the twenty-third, to Mahaziah, his sons and his brothers, twelve, to the twenty-fourth, to Ramamtai Ezer, his sons and his brothers, twelve. First Peter 5 So I exhort the elders among you, as a fellow elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, as well as a partaker in the glory that is going to be revealed, shepherd the flock of God that is among you, exercising oversight, not under compulsion, but willingly, as God would have you, not for shameful gain, but eagerly, not domineering over those in your charge, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. Likewise, you who are younger, be subject to the elders. Clothe yourselves, all of you, with humility toward one another, for God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time He may exalt you, casting all your anxieties on Him, because He cares for you. Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. Resist him, firm in your faith, knowing that the same kinds of suffering are being experienced by your brotherhood throughout the world. And after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. To him be the dominion forever and ever. Amen. By Silvanus, a faithful brother as I regard him, I have written briefly to you, exhorting and declaring that this is the true grace of God. Stand firm in it. She who is at Babylon, who is likewise chosen, sends you greetings. And so does Mark, my son. Greet one another with the kiss of love. Peace to all of you who are in Christ. Micah 3 And I said, Hear you heads of Jacob, and rulers of the house of Israel. Is it not for you to know justice, you who hate the good and love the evil, who tear the skin from off my people and their flesh from off their bones, who eat the flesh of my people and flay their skins from off them and break their bones in pieces and chop them up like meat in a pot, like flesh in a cauldron? Then they will cry to the Lord, but he will not answer them. He will hide his face from them at that time, because they have made their deeds evil. Thus says the Lord concerning the prophets who lead my people astray, who cry peace when they have something to eat, but declare war against him who puts nothing into their mouths. Therefore it shall be night to you without vision, and darkness to you without divination. The sun shall go down on the prophets, and the day shall be black over them. The seers shall be disgraced, and the diviners put to shame. They shall all cover their lips, for there is no answer from God. But as for me, I am filled with power, with the Spirit of the Lord, and with justice and might, to declare to Jacob his transgression, and to Israel his sin. Hear this, you heads of the house of Jacob, 
and rulers of the house of Israel, who detest justice and make crooked all that is straight, who build Zion with blood and Jerusalem with iniquity. Its heads give judgment for a bribe, its priests teach for a price, its prophets practice divination for money. Yet they lean on the Lord and say, Is not the Lord in the midst of us? No disaster shall come upon us. Therefore, because of you, Zion shall be plowed as a field. Jerusalem shall become a heap of ruins, and the mountain of the house a wooded height. Luke 12 In the meantime, when so many thousands of the people had gathered together that they were trampling one another, he began to say to his disciples first, Beware the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. Nothing is covered up that will not be revealed, or hidden that will not be known. Therefore, whatever you have said in the dark shall be heard in the light, and what you have whispered in private rooms shall be proclaimed on the housetops. I tell you, my friends, do not fear those who kill the body and after that have nothing more that they can do. But I will warn you whom to fear. Fear him who, after he has killed, has authority to cast into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? And not one of them is forgotten before God. Why, even the hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not. You are of more value than many sparrows. And I tell you, Everyone who acknowledges me before men, the Son of Man also will acknowledge before the angels of God. But the one who denies me before men will be denied before the angels of God. And everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven, but the one who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. And when they bring you before the synagogues and the rulers and the authorities, do not be anxious about how you should defend yourself or what you should say, for the Holy Spirit will teach you in that very hour what you ought to say. Someone in the crowd said to him, Teacher, tell my brother to divide the inheritance with me. But he said to him, Man, who made me a judge or arbitrator over you? And he said to them, Take care, and be on your guard against all covetousness, for one's life does not consist in the abundance of his possessions. And he told them a parable, saying, the land of a rich man produced plentifully. And he thought to himself, What shall I do? For I have nowhere to store my crops. And he said, I will do this. I will tear down my barns and build larger ones, and there I will store all my grain and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, you have ample goods laid up for many years. Relax, eat, drink, be merry. But God said to him, Fool, this night your soul is required of you, and the things you have prepared, whose will they be? So is the one who lays up treasure for himself and is not rich toward God. And he said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat, nor about your body, what you will put on. For life is more than food, and the body more than clothing. Consider the ravens. They neither sow nor reap. They have neither storehouse nor barn, and yet God feeds them. Of how much more value are you than the birds? And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life? If then you are not able to do as small a thing as that, why are you anxious about the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin, yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass which is alive in the field today and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O you of little faith? And do not seek what you are to eat and what you are to drink, nor be worried, for all the nations of the world seek after these things, and your Father knows that you need them. Instead, seek his kingdom, and these things will be added to you. Fear not, little flock for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell your possessions and give to the needy. Provide yourselves with money bags that do not grow old, with a treasure in the heavens that does not fail, where no thief approaches and no moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Stay dressed for action, and keep your lamps burning. 
and be like men who are waiting for their master to come home from the wedding feast, so that they may open the door to him at once when he comes and knocks. Blessed are those servants whom the master finds awake when he comes. Truly I say to you, he will dress himself for service, and have them recline at table, and he will come and serve them. If he comes in the second watch or in the third and finds them awake, blessed are those servants. But know this, that if the master of the house had known at what hour the thief was coming, he would not have left his house to be broken into. You also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Peter said, Lord, are you telling this parable for us or for all? And the Lord said, Who then is the faithful and wise manager whom his master will set over his household to give them their portion of food at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his master will find so doing when he comes. Truly I say to you, he will set him over all his possessions. But if that servant says to himself, My master is delayed in coming, and begins to beat the male and female servants, and to eat and drink and get drunk, the master of that servant will come on a day when he does not expect him, and at an hour he does not know, and will cut him in pieces and put him with the unfaithful. And that servant who knew his master's will, but did not get ready or act according to his will, will receive a severe beating. But the one who did not know, and did what deserved a beating, will receive a light beating. Everyone to whom much was given, of him much will be required, and from him to whom they entrusted much, they will demand the more. I came to cast fire on the earth, and would that it were already kindled. I have a baptism to be baptized with, and how great is my distress until it is accomplished. Do you think that I have come to give peace on earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. For from now on, in one house there will be five divided, three against two, and two against three. They will be divided, father against son, and son against father, mother against daughter, and daughter against mother mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and daughter-in-law against mother-in-law. He also said to the crowds, When you see a cloud rising in the west, you say at once, A shower is coming, and so it happens. And when you see the south wind blowing, you say, There will be scorching heat, and it happens. You hypocrites, you know how to interpret the appearance of earth and sky, but why do you not know how to interpret the present time? And why do you not judge for yourselves what is right, as you go with your accuser before the magistrate? Make an effort to settle with him on the way, lest he drag you to the judge, and the judge hand you over to the officer, and the officer put you in prison. I tell you, you will never get out until you have paid the very last penny.'"